Yo, fuck that. I'm not giving you any more advantages. I'm not telling you how to play. Fuck that. <laughs> All right, dudes, is it going? How is it going? I jumped the timer there by a minute. I didn't want to give anybody any more advantages. The game telling them how to play and stuff like that. I need all the advantages I can get. How's it going, dudes? Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! I was gonna say one and all, but for some reason it's sounded cheap. I don't know why. <laughs> Straight out of fucking Charles Dickens, that shit. But Merry Christmas, dudes! Hope you have a good one. I think it's quite acceptable to say Merry Christmas less than a week. In fact, five days to Christmas. I think that's absolutely fine. Bowser's a beast in this. He's fucking great. They all are, though. Every single one of them. So, dudes, the plan today... Let me just... Yo. There we go. Volume set to normal. What's this? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Plan for today. I'm gonna piss around. Piss around for about, well, probably the entirety, but no. For the first half an hour or so while stream warms up. And then I'm gonna try... Oh, get rid of the fucking... There's always something. Timer, go away. Where are you? There. And then I'm going to do some community tourners. See how that goes down. Just do a really um, small one to begin with. Maybe like eight players. Something like that. Eight players. Of which we'd only need seven from the community. Because I could fill in that last spot. But what I'm, like I said, what I'm going to do is um, just try the format. See if I can actually do community tourners and stuff like that. We're smashing it. There's enough interest and enough players. And the format's good enough. And... Um, should be alright. Should be alright. Like I say, oh, fucking maximise my screen now. As I was about to show you. Where is it? Down one, 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 second, one second. Excellent. Where is it? Oh, thank you very much, Mr. Pony. Mr. Pony just subscribed. Thank you very much, dude. Very kind. Very excellent indeed. Here we go. Is that right? What's that cutting? Is that cutting? That's cutting off, isn't it? Yeah, I thought so. Refresh yourself, sir. How about now? Nope, now you're just refusing to work. Why are you being like that? You were fine when I was testing you. Ooh, you swine. You fucking swine. You were fine when I was testing you before I started recording. Started streaming and shit. Capture that window. Don't be like that, Obs. Don't be like Don't play me. Come on. I, I, rest assured, dudes. Rest assured. I'm using um, challenge.com. Challenge with an O rather than E. So I can organise like proper little brackets and shit like that. Pretty cool. I'll link you the brackets in chat in a minute when I um, organise some shit. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, you can kiss my ass, Obs. Right, fine. Be like that. I'll add a new window capture. And it's going to be that. Yeah, exactly. I thought, I thought so. What have you got, Obs? You haven't got... Oh. Trying to play me. Right, window capture, there we go. Is that fine? Of course, it's capturing the OBS window as well now. How very professional! This is the height of professionalism, right, here we go. And, um... Impressive! Hey, impressive! Wow, shit, thank you very much, Mr. Green Yeti! Holy shit, dude! He doubled up his fitty! Very kind, Mr. Green Yeti, holy shit. Merry Christmas, Liam, Merry Christmas to you too, dude. Very, very kind of you. Mr. Green Yeti's been a top fella. Since the top, since the tip system came in about, it's about a year ago. Need to do a video on YouTube about it. In the um, in the new year, it's been about almost a year or something, something like that. And fuck, have been cool beyond cool. It's insane, Mr. Green Yeti, definitely one of those people. Insane, dude. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas, indeed. But there we go. Like I said, we're gonna we're gonna run a little tournament here at some point. At some point. Has Tony Mode been released? Unfortunately not, Banjo. Unfortunately not, so we're going to do it this kind of way. But like I say, Mr. Green, yeah, has been a top fella throughout the entire fucking year. The entire year. Every time I see a tip from Mr. Green, yeah, it's, it's tip like 50 bucks. Ah, it's only 50 bucks, Liam. Chill out. It's like, it's not... In regards to, like, stream tips, 50 bucks is fucking huge. Thank you very much for the year, Mr. Green, yeah. Very, very kind of you, sir. Mr. Green, yeah, slamming the pot from the beginning. Slammed. Very nice. Thank you very much, dude. So. Off you go, sir. There we go. And what was I doing now? Oh, yes. Like I said, while well, the stream's warming up, 
because I don't know if we'll have quite enough people around for it, even for a little tournament. I mean, it only needs to be like four people. I just want to see if it actually works out all right. Test the system out, see if it's okay. Out of curiosity, who is online at the moment? I mean, like I said, once stream warms up and a bit later on, should be all right. Up, 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 up. It's Mr. Pony. Hey, OTG, glad to be able to catch a stream. May not be around for all of it, though. No worries, dude. Thank you for swinging by. Unfortunately, I don't have Smash 4 yet. Christmas can't come so are you getting Smash 4 for Christmas? Oh, you lucky fella. That's a Christmas present. Check this out. Oh, god damn, I've just fucking logged out of online. Never mind. Um, I have been... Me and Smash are best bros. We really are. Me and Smash are best bros. I've been playing the fuck out of this game. And um, mainly single player. That's bizarre for me. Mainly single player. In a multiplayer kind of centric game. Oh, oh, uh, whatever. <laughs> you know, like, I can only really play single player games via HSF, you know, doing playthroughs for them. That's what makes the single player interesting for me. But multiplayer is absolutely fine. But no, the multiplayer centric game, the game that you could quite happily just play 1v1 and never play any other mode or anything else. Nope, Liam wants to play single player. Nope, this is the wrong section as well. That is the wrong section, sir. Oh, but now I've, seen all the, now I've seen all the bars rising. Now I'm curious. Now I want to see what actually else is there. Wow. Zero Suit Samus has actually caught up to Samus there a bit. I, I main Samus for a little bit, but Samus is quite clunky. Not quite got the hang of Samus yet, but Zero Suit's great. And stats. Hey, time powered on 120. Fuck the play time. It all counts. I, I count my powered on time. I don't sit there idle wasting energy that much, so it kind of counts. 120 hours. It's only been out for three weeks. <laughs> That's not bad. I mean, it's not insane. But, you know, if you're getting 40 hours out of your game every week and then you're still playing as hard a month later, that's a good game, you know? That's that's good value. It's actually not that great of a value because I throw... Oh, the amount of me... I've got so many fucking amiibos. I can't even be asked saying amiibos anymore. Too many syllables. Amiibos. Like, three fucking syllables there when I have to say it all the time. Fuck that. Amiibos. I just call them amiibos. I've got, like, ten... 10 Amiibos. I got... The good thing is, though, if you try to get the Amiibos after they've been released, good fucking luck. If you try to get those Amiibos, like, post-release, good fucking luck. I got four. The first batch that came out was, like, 10 Amiibos on the first batch, and I got four of them. Just to, just to test, see what they were like. I like them. They're cool. And, um... I tr I've tried to get the other ones. Since the original batch came out on release of the game three weeks ago, I have only been able to pick up one more amiibo from that original batch. However, the second wave that got released yesterday... Or was it Thursday? I I've been getting them through course this week. Really messy deliveries near Christmas. But either way, what did I get this week? I got Pit, Captain Falcon, Luigi, Diddy Kong, Mac and Zelda. Adding into the existing Pikachu, Samus, Mario, and Link. And I've got Fox coming as well. Fox is somewhere in the post. I'm, I'm expecting him sometime before Christmas, but fuck knows. Why was I here? Oh, yes, I was looking at the amount of time I spent playing it. Let's see who's online. Out of interest. It's out of interest. If anybody would, any Smash player would be interested in playing a bit of Smash that's in chat at the moment, just shoot me like an OTG space Smash. Just out of curiosity. I suspect there might only be like one person that'd say that, but still, I'm just curious. See how warm the stream is yet. No, it's, it's lukewarm at the moment. It's lukewarm. What the hell is OTG playing at a decent time? <laughs> Alright, Jesus, how's it going, dude? I'm one of the few people in the world that's actually found Jesus when I wasn't even looking for him. All right, fella. Oh, person says, does Street Fighter V pique your interest? It does. It does, actually. You see, there's a lot of people saying it looks exactly the same as Street Fighter IV. Mm, I don't know. I played, a f I played a decent amount of Street Fighter IV. I don't think it actually looks like Street Fighter IV at all. Both in the... Act the engine looks similar, but it looks a lot nicer. It looks closer to Killer Instinct than Street Fighter 4, in my opinion. In my opinion. It looks like Killer Instinct with um, Street Fighter kind of characterization. But the actual gameplay mechanics look quite a bit different than Street... Street Fighter 4 is very... I'm gonna... I'm gonna say it fucking blunt, man. I, I find Street Fighter 4 very fucking boring. I really do, to both play and to watch. 
I can I can play I can watch I can play for a bit and have fun with it. No worries. About an hour. Here and there. No worries. And I can watch for a bit. Maybe about an hour. Here and there. But I I, I, I could not main that game. I really couldn't. It's no, no I don't mean any offense or all like that. But I, I've just, the pace is a bit too turtle. I mean, it says me that actually likes the fucking more defensive kind of route with Smash, but still. I don't know. I don't know. But it's good. Street Fighter 4 was a solid game. I mean, it reinvigorated um, fighting games across the last generation. So whether you like Street Fighter 4 or not, you have, and if you like fighting games, you owe something to Street Fighter 4 a little bit for revitalizing the genre. But I actually like the look of Street Fighter 5 a lot more than Street Fighter 4 because... It just seems a bit more aggressive. When it comes to that kind of fighting game, I like it to be nice and aggressive. Even if you play, I mean, I usually play Zony kind of characters. Not in this, but in other fighting games I play. Like Glacius is my Zony kind of character. Ryu is my Zony kind of character. I play Zony kind of characters. And when the game's faster and more aggressive, it makes Zony more fun. I don't know, it makes it a little bit harder, it makes it more fun. I don't like it being free. Like Glacius is the perfect example of a Zona. If he zones you, it can be strong, but he also needs to fight close range as well, or like, you know, watch himself. He can't just spam. There's a big difference between spamming and zoning. Like, mindless spamming of a fireball that results in you getting a fierce fucking kick to the face is not zoning. You know, if the game is broken for whatever reason, and you can literally stand still and throw out fireballs, that's not zoning, that's a broken character. Glacius was perfect, he could zone you, but you could get through it and then get up to him, and then it's up to Glacius to get away from you and to beat you up a little bit at close range and get the fuck away and then go back to a zoning kind of game. I, I love Glacius, I thought it was a fucking fan- for a game that doesn't really support- Killer Instinct does not support zoning char characters at all, not at all. But Glacius was done really well, and the fact- in the new season of Killer Instinct, there's a new character, like a mummy kind of guy, can't remember his name, begins with an R maybe, I'm not sure. And he looks like a pretty good zoner, really low damage, but good zoning. So they seem to have done quite well with it. But I, I'm, I'm in a smash at the moment, so no chance of me going back to Killer Instinct for um, another half a year or something like that. I don't know. Rest we seem. Oh, that's very kind of you to say so, Kieran. OTG is always fun to watch. Doesn't matter if it's on YouTube or here on Twitch. Very kind words, sir. Very kind. Very kind indeed. But yes, as I was saying, Street Fighter Five does pique my interest. The um, the mechanics look quite good as well. The guard breaking's nice. The, um, oh, what else was there? Was there a custom combo system? I'm not sure if there was custom combo in there or not, but there was definitely, um, like a guard break. And there was, there was, like, the stage transitions, a bit like Injustice, but not quite as over the top. Stage transitions are quite nice. But there was something else, I can't remember the exact mechanic now. There was definitely a guard break. Like, you couldn't just sit there fuck. I mean, you, you can't guard forever anyway, but still, like, it seemed to break much fucking faster. There, there's a few things, I can't remember them all, but there's a few things. Oh, Zero Suit Samus all the way! Good choice of character! Is that Siegmeier? Siegmeier! Siegmeier, maybe! Ooh, fancy name, that's very... Warhammer Imperial, Siegmeier! Nice, that's a strong, strong name. Is there any chance in hell that you'll get around to playing Dragon Age Inquisition, asks Jesus. Yes, I have actually been tempted by that game. Claire, it's Claire's game of the year. She fucking loves that game. Absolutely loves that game. And, um... I'm sorry, I was just going on for a chat there. I'm sorry. I forgot, forgot my train of... Oh, yes! Claire's game of the year is Dragon Age Inquisition. Dragon Age Inquisition, so she's tempted me with it. Definitely. Where's the Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes? The people will- it's literally like, even if I wanted to do Ground Zeroes right now, it's actually impossible. I think the backlash from the Metal Gear Solid crew, it would be immense. Holy shit. I think there would be serious repercussions. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, almost Sony hack level of repercussions if I played Ground Zeroes before I played Peace Walker. People would be mad. Very mad. Oh, awesome day! Alright, dude. Hey, OTG, where are your old HD sets that you made over the past year on Twitch? Yes, the past year I have um, not been archiving on YouTube. I suspect at some point in time, this has been a more realistic kind of, let's call it a procrast procrastinate, because let's be honest, I'm quite good at it. Um, 
it's probably... They're probably going to be spliced in over the next year. Like, here and there, it's like, oh, here's the Metal Gear Solid 2 HDSF. Here's the Shovel Knight HDSF. Here's this HDSF or whatever like that. I honestly suspect I'll probably upload... I'll probably finish Half-Life 2, and then I'm going to wipe the slate clean. I do apologize, fellas. I have had a year of incredibly bad health. And towards the end of the year, it's rotted me head a little bit. Oh, by the way, I should mention, I feel fucking great. Sorry, I, I, I should have mentioned this, maybe. But I, I kinda, I've got into the mentality over the past couple of months of saying nothing about it. It's been rough. It really has. It's not just been physically rough. It's actually been a bit mentally rough over the past couple of months, which is why streams have been few and far between. But you have my apologies, dudes. Regardless of my health, you could turn around and say, where are the fucks? Because I, I, I ain't given any. So, and that would be entirely fair enough. Entirely fair enough. My health is um, not the concern as such. I mean, it is. I'm not saying you, you, I'm not saying you're cold-blooded motherfuckers. <laughs> you, you do. You, you care a lot. And a lot of folk have shown support. Uh, hell, pretty much everybody over the past year and stuff like that. But I, I was worrying folk. And, I, you know, by mentioning it all the time and stuff. And like I said, I stopped mentioning it. And it started to rot my head a little bit. The, the entirety, you know, not being able to stream, not being able to do stuff fucking day to day, you know, feeling like shit all the time, it rots your head eventually. But, started to come round a little bit, then I felt fine. Then I, oh, I disconnected from my pre- I just read the stream chat there, I disconnected from what I was saying. I will briefly backpedal. Hold this thought, Liam, hold this thought. It was, um... Ah, uh, who was it asking that? Awesome Day, Awesome Day. Awesome Day was asking the previous HDSF and stuff like that. Like I was saying, I'm probably going to finish off episode two and then I'm going to... I know why I know why I deviated now. I, I, I apologise. Ramble, you know. You know me. And... Yeah, finish HDSF of Half-Life 2 off. Just It's only got about three parts, so like three videos. And I'm going to draw like a fucking... It's a clean slate from there clean slate. What happens from there happens from there and stuff like that. What I'd like to do is um, more, f now that I'm feeling better again, more frequent streams. The H I, 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 do you know what? Next HDSF stream I'll go through the slight change of format and stuff like that and I'll tell you all about then. But anyway, nutshell is, the HDSFs over the past year, there's a guy on YouTube called Sorrow's Heel Turn and uh, people are saying it in chat right now, Sorrow's Heel Turn. Sorrow... Sorrows, S-O-R-R-O-W-S, heel, H-E-E-L, turn, T-U-R-N. So in case you're watching this and we're no stream chat there at the time, you know, later on in the VOD. Sorrows, heel, turn. He's the guy that's literally was uploading the streams within like a day, max, probably within hours actually. A day makes it sound much later than what it actually was. Like some of the streams were like literally, I finished streaming, it'd have the stream up within two hours and stuff. But that's what I'll be doing myself roughly soon. 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 But going back onto what I was saying, I feel great. I, I fucking feel amazing. Absolutely fantastic. It. In a nutshell, briefly, and then I'm going to get some, um, some gameplay on because, you know, 20 minutes in. Gameplay would be nice, maybe. <laughs> what was I saying? Fucking hell. I just, this is what happens. This is, uh, the pe people wonder why I procrastinate like a motherfucker. Like, every time I say something, there's like two other things in my head to say. I mean, that's fantastic for playthroughing. You know, doing commentary and stuff like that, but you lose track of what you're saying sometimes. I need to master that a little bit more. Anyway. Feel fine. Absolutely great. Nutshell of it is, what I seem to- I mean, it, it could be a blip. It could- I, I have had blips this year where I felt fine randomly for a couple of weeks at a time and stuff. But it's been a couple of weeks or more. Maybe about three weeks. And, um... Hey, yo, yo, yo. Oh, you know what? You're fine here. What was I going to say? Oh, you know what? While I'm just briefly going on for a couple of minutes, let's um, let's put on a tune. Let's put a this is this is what's great about the fucking game as well. Where's my music? It's over here. Let's put a tune on in the background while I'm just briefly going on about this. Yeah. So in background, I bet I overpower that like a motherfucker. I need to turn up my volume to hear it. <laughs> anyway. Um... Great tune. They're all good. In fact, I think this... I like that one. That one's great, but I, just, I think this one down is a bit more authentic. 
bit more old school. It's not a re I don't think, is that a remix up here? Yeah, it is. I thought it was. So, yeah, I have been experimenting over the course of the year to find what the fuck is wrong with me. I have been on about five variants of pills. I have had a stomach cam, which was miserable as fuck. No, I said at the time, I still stand by what I said at the time, it wasn't as bad as what people said it was going to be, but it was worse than what other people said it was going to be. <laughs> it was it was a combination of the two. It was fucking grim. Fucking grim. The, the weight was the worst though. Fucking hell. I have never felt closer to mental breakdown as what I did waiting for those hours in that room. Holy shit. Even in prison you'd have a fucking bible to read or you could look out of the fucking through the bars or something like that, or you know, you're busy watching your ass. So, <laughs> this this room was the worst room I have ever been in in my fucking life. The closest I've ever come to psychosis. Oh, you want Song of Storms, dear Ron? Ah, you know, it's funny you say that because I when I was contemplating, like, well, what do I go to? Do I go to do I go to Metroid, or do I go to fucking Song of Storms? <laughs> You're in mid there, Ron. In mid. It's funny as well because me and Claire were listening to this less than 12 hours ago this morning. Awesome. Awesome. Anyway, I've, like I say, many different types of pills, stomach cam. I have cut things out, added things in, varying success. One of the methods that I was trying through the year was the process of elimination. Sounds reasonable to- Oh, thank you very much, by the way, Amicus. I shall be with you, um, just one second, dude. One minute, maybe. <laughs> you know me. And, um... I was going through process of elimination. It makes sense, doesn't it? Process of elimination. You know, try to find out what the problem is. Is it this? Is it that? Makes sense, does it not? It does. So, I tried eliminating coffee. Felt a bit better for a while, then I felt like shit. Can't have been coffee. Okay, go back to drinking coffee. What an idiot. Is it these, is it pizzas? Is it these kind of pizzas or something like that? Oh yeah, I do feel a bit. Oh wait, no, I feel bad again. So no, it can't have been the pizzas. Can't have been the pizzas. So I was trying this and I was trying that and this and that. Never occurred to me. Never once occurred to me. Maybe it's more than just one thing that's wrong with your diet. Hmm? Maybe. It's caffeine that your stomach doesn't like, and maybe it's certain kind of like pizzas with like cheese and too much cheese on it or something like that. I don't know what it is. Domino's pizzas will make my stomach fucking hurt the next morning. This is no slander against Domino's, because Domino's make the best fucking pizzas around. Whoa, shit, my e-cig. And, um, it's any problem with this e-cig, man. It's so fucking heavy when it falls over. I shit my pants. Why is, why is my mobile f Get the fuck away from me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. One sec, dudes. Fucking fuck. You alright? Yeah, he's alright. I might as well get me another drink. Oh, no. One sec, dude. I'm, I'm one sec. There we go. Sorry about that. I, um, I realised my phone was on the desk, and nothing pisses me off more in life than a mobile phone near a microphone. I don't like mobile phones, period. I don't trust the waves. I swear to God. I, I've, no, I've, I've got this noted down many a times. Many a times. I don't fucking trust fucking carrier waves. I don't. I think there is something funny about them. I have no proof for this. It is just my gut feeling. My gut feeling says... These fucking carrier waves that interfere with, like, electronic equipment can't be doing great for me as well. Probably fire. I I, I don't know. I, I'm very tin hat when it comes to carrier waves. But the thing that pisses me off with um, mobile phones, be or wireless phones in general, being near the microphone, you've heard it before, right? You know exactly what I'm talking about. That fucking sound. Fuck that. So I realised my phone's on my desk, so I'm like, picked it up, looked at it, fuck you, and fucking threw it across the room. It hit the sofa, bounced off the sofa, hit another computer chair, bounced off that, went into fucking fire almost. <laughs> it's, I could have done that if I tried. 
It was like the perfect forward smash of my phone. It bounced off two fucking things and into the fucking blast zone, pretty much. The fuck? So I had to go and get that. I thought, fuck it, I'll go get my secondary drink. So, yeah, as I was saying, as I was saying, never occurred to me it could have been more than one thing. Turns, well, at least at the moment, I've knocked um, all caffeine on the head, all alcohol on the head, all um, carbonated drinks on the head. So I only drink um, still stuff and water and um, milk. So my drinks have been severely um, focused into stuff that I feel alright with. I can't have any kind of pizzas, no spicy fucking food. Barbecue's alright, but no, like, chilli kind of spicy or out like that. God, I'm sad. <laughs> if I didn't feel so great and so happy about that, I'd feel sad that I can't have some of this cool stuff. But that is how it is. On top of that, I've been eating much more. Big problem for me is actually, like, the will to eat sometimes. Like, I'm just... Sometimes I'm ravenous and I can eat for fucking days. Other times I go through weeks and months of just not eating very much. And um, I need to stop that, and I have done over the past um, few weeks. I eat regular, and I eat a lot now. Feeling much better. Like I said, if you've got too much stomach acid, or it's too strong, well, the best way is to fill your stomach, innit? Fill your stomach up, so the acid's attacking that, and not your stomach. And, um, 